I don't like how it's just stupidly silent. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgic Train. Why is it so quiet? Oh, Satoshi, hi. Hello. You serious? Uh, wait, what am I serious about? Well, there was no body, but Morishi was beyond saving at that point, I think. There we go. But why? Whichever one would stop dying so easily. Oh, boy. Class ref. Guess the only one left is Miss Yui, then. What happened? God, how can you be so matter-of-fact about it? I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I think it goes without saying that none of our friends who died here would want us to join them. We all want to get out of here, so let's just cling to that desire and keep moving forward. We know the way out. So even with things a little bleaker now, there's still that hope for us. We're almost there. All we have to do is find Miss Yui. And then we can finally escape this living hell. Sounds good. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Nakashima, I have something of yours. Ah, my student ID! And this, too. Hand it over the baby statue, because I don't know what that's for. Sorry, I didn't get the ID back to you sooner. Y you must have been freaking out about it, if you knew the way out. B believe me, I was. Well, then don't go losing that scrap again, okay? Thank you so much! I have no idea what a relief it is to have this back. Shinozaki. Nice job finding that. Can't even tell you how much of a load off our minds it is. No problem at all. Oh, but check this out. I took another look at these pages after we had a little talk with Naho, and all the bloodstains have vanished. You can read every word clear as day now. Fiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad, and my interpre interpretations of them overly naive. Okay, I got that part. This place is not the simple plane of spirits I'd previously surmised it to be. I think I got that part too. If you don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. Here's where we start. Okay. I thought we'd be able to get back easily through the way out strategy I detailed, but, but these child spirits are bound here in a very particular manner. Okay, I knew that. It won't be quite so simple to achieve. Doing so will mean appeasing the malicious spirits that dwell here to unlock the gate that cuts through the, pla the planar void back to the world we know. Using this technique before fulfilling this condition could be unimaginably dangerous. There's no telling what might happen. Does that mean... Yeah, this planar void that separates Heavenly Host from the real world was created by Yuki and the others. And it's totally surrounding us. So, if we did this reverse Sachiko charm thing right now, we still wouldn't be able to get back. It would block our way. So we really do have to get Sachiko to repent and appease the other child spirits in order to get home. Okay. Let's give it our best shot. 
We're almost there, right? I guess. Um. Who, why, what, where, and how? Ah. Okay, at this point, I need to walk there again. Okay. Okay, go downstairs. That's what it says. Okay. I am so glad I found a walkthrough that doesn't tell me what actually happened. Ugh, hello. Ow. So, I want to go back down the way I came from the custodial closet. Is this really a good idea? Okay. Um, I don't like this idea, but I guess we'll go with it. What? In the... Uh-oh. shiny black bugs, anthropods, and worms have all converged together into a skittering, shifting mass. So big, it's like a slimy lake. <laughs> ah, no, God! Stop! Get off! Oh, Satoshi, help, please! Nami! Nami! Nami, I'm over here. Can you make it? Um. Well, I guess there's the answer. What the? They're overwhelming in number. Eating me from all sides. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Save me! The what? It hurts. It hurts. Uh, it hurts. I didn't expect this. Why? Make it stop. Save me! Please! Uh oh. Uh oh. And dead. Crap. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have saved beforehand. Ooh. This is going to be trial and error right here. Crap! Alright, well, I'll see you guys back over there. Okay, up, down. Nope. Up, right, up. Come on, up. Left. Come on, up, up, up. There we go. Alright. Whew. That took me a few tries, but nothing too bad. You made it, Naomi. Just keep yourself afloat. That's it. Good. Now, don't think about what you're doing. Just push. Try to hoist yourself up. Yeah, I'm sure that doesn't feel good. There. You got it. You're almost out. Doing good. Ew. God, get them off me! Get them off me! Yeah, trophy earned. Don't even want to imagine. Not bad. Don't worry. Hold still. I'll make sure I get every last one of them. I'm sure that's gonna be weird. 
That's gotta be weird. There we go. Should be good now. You'll be fine. Can you walk? Here, use my shoulder. You okay, Yuka? So, what now? Wait, is this the other side? Well, gee. Alright then. Um, didn't expect that. Okay, so. Go left and up the stairs. Okay. I can't go left. Up this being the bottom. I'm an idiot. Down here. Alright. <laughs> this? Nope, it's already been used. Okay, then. Go right at the intersection. Okay. So, here? And up? Oh. The baby statue seems like it would fit perfectly. Sure, let's put it there. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Marble statue seems like it's different. Huh? Sure. Naomi. Naomi. It's here. The black mass that attacked me earlier. The sign says infirmary. But whatever's at the end of this hall is nothing like anywhere we've been before. Oh boy. My my head! Big brother! It hurts! Mine too! Ah. Both got nosebleeds. You two stay here. I'll go on alone. That was a stupid idea. Uh, what the hell? Is that a child's face and hands in the window? There's a posting at attached to the door. Sachiko. Cleaning up in the reference room. Please wait here for me until I'm done. Mom. Sachiko? Doors open. Come on in. Oh, boy. I don't like this. Blood. Oh, my God. It's mine. My nose start bleeding. Uh oh. I think I'll be in danger if I stay here too long. But I get the feeling there's something here I need to see. Uh oh. What do you say? Shall we go on the field trip together over summer vacation? This doesn't. Hi! What's going on? I can't move a muscle. I've been paralyzed. My dear Sachi, she's my pride and joy. But 
that's a woman. She'd do anything for me. Oh, I don't like this. Diary. Whose diary? Is it this spirit? The book seems quite old. With yellow pages and frayed edges. I'm assuming after this cutscene I'll have to just save and wait for later. But the carefully inked letters are still completely legible. What? 7th, 19th, 1953. You seem to be dead. No. That can't be right. I can't forgive you. Since when were you the crooked man? I won't forgive you. I'm going to kill you. Um, how about a big fat no to that one, Yoshi? How dare you harm Sachiko? How dare you harm me? What have I done? This is bad. Really bad. Tashi! We gotta get out of here. Nami! Yuka! Stand up! We have to get out of this hall now! Big brother! Oh boy. Go, 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 go! Yeah, that. Are you two all right? Uh huh. I'm fine. I'm okay too. The panic subsided. But then that hallway. What was that place anyway? It was the nurse's office. There was a woman there, with a broken neck. And just before I ran out. Children started appearing all over her. <gasps> Satoshi, is that? Yeah. It's a diary from the desk. I tried going through that earlier. It was totally frozen in place. I couldn't even turn the pages. That woman's? Without a doubt. I saw her writing in it. There's a name on the back. Yoshi Shinozaki. Not sure what we'll learn from it, but I'm willing to bet it's something important. Shall we take a look? Alright. July 19th, 1953. I spoke, I spoke at great length with the children again today. They're so full of life. Growing up so fast. The younger students are quiet and respectful, too. It's clear their parents love and care for them very much and have taught them very well. But I won't be left behind. I intend to raise Sachiko with just as much love and devotion as any of them. Today is her seventh birthday. We're meeting after school and going out to dinner. I hope she likes the stuffed cat I got her. I have to sort out some documents in the re reference room before meeting up with Sachi. While I was working, the principal dropped by. After he and I talked for a bit, he suddenly came up to me from behind, grabbed me, and forced me down, then began unbuttoning my... Nope. Every single time it involves a school, this happens. So basically, the principal decided to take advantage of her body. 
That's all I'm saying. I'm not reading this. I was in such shock. I'm not even sure exactly what happened to me after that. Except the way, somehow, he was right behind me. I only made it as far as the landing on the stairs. As soon as I turned the corner, I felt him push me. The floor came at me fast, and suddenly, I found myself unable to move. Paralyzed, and let me guess, he killed her. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Look at the blood spilled from my head. I'm sure it was hell to clean up later. I also lost control of my bowels. Ferris, oh, that gives Sachiko motive. I, well, I, I was wondering what her motive was. This. This was her motive. Sachiko took it on the children of the school, the students, because the principal, the head of the school, did this. Actually, on a psychological, sociopath type standpoint, that actually makes sense. Principal closed in on her. What was he planning to do? I yelled with every ounce of my strength for him to stop. But I was dead. I had no strength. Sachiko tried to run. He ended up doing to her. Yeah, okay. I get it. Alright. Because the principal ended up doing things to her that are just morally extremely wrong. She looked at every student like they were him and decided to do to them, well, what the story's already told she's done. What a cruel man. He's the reason she's the way she is. He rebuttoned my shirt, then took Sachiko to the basement and buried her. What? Wait a minute. Telling me the Sachiko that did this was a spirit? I'm not a bad person. I don't deserve this. There's no redemption for what he's done. July 20th, just as I suspected, according to the official report, I slipped and fell. Of course. I'm not even reading this. I get what's going on. He. Kills Sachiko's mother and Sachiko and blames it on something that it didn't actually happen. In response, Sachiko ends up killing a bunch of students. Out of pure joy! Little by little, I'm losing my mind. Bit by bit, I'm fading away. A dark will, not my own begun infiltrating my being. Make it stop. So she was Sachiko's mom? So awful. Yeah, it is. I really feel for her. Wait, though, isn't anyone else bothered by the dates on these diaries, diary entries? Sachiko shouldn't even be there. So the Sachiko who did do the things she did was a spirit the whole time. Kidnappings and murders didn't take place until 1973. By the time it happened, spirit, she was a spirit. That would explain why she was never seen after that point. You're right. These are all dated a full 20 years earlier. What does that mean? If reading this post-mortem diary continued to chronicle school nurse Yoshi Shinozaki's laments and regrets and detail her agony. Down to the site of her demise, Yoshi eventually exhausted all possible topics, filling the remaining pages with short passages like I'm so alone, so very alone. I want to see Sachiko again. I want to see the children again. 
will never forgive him for what he did. Kill them all. Among other similar mournful or angry sentiments. What the? Can't open it past this page. After a certain point, the diary's pages became so blood soaked that they were all sticking together. Nick Holt. Cult. Coagulated mess of blocky paper. I think I get it. Ah, here we go. Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. She'd even kill lots of people to keep me company. She sends me so many till. I love them all. doesn't realize what she's doing. I have to make her stop. This won't make me happy. Sachiko, please stop! His family's just as guilty as he is. I'm going to curse the entire line forever. I'll burn some sense right into their brains. How did this happen? Sachiko... Who died alongside me 20 years ago has a flesh and blood body once more. She kills children and sends their souls to me. But I don't want that. That won't make me happy. Sachiko, please come see me. Talk with me. Oh boy. Sachi killed. Okay. No. Nope. It's Sachiko on her own. Okay. When they die, it's like every trace of their existence is removed from history. It's spiriting away, in the truest sense of the term. She's not capable of abducting and killing children on her own. She makes that man do the kidnapping for her. Sachiko, please stop. Sachi is no longer killing for my sake. Now she's just killing because she likes it. I still think it's because the principal drove her to insanity. Can't forgive anyone who kills another human being. Uh oh. Oh boy. Bring me more. Thanks to Sachi. I'm no longer alone. Send me three more adorable little children today. Sachi is my pride and joy. I don't think she even recognizes me anymore. But I still love her with all my heart. Even though she's a psycho, psychotic murderer. The school's been closed down. And the principal jumped off the roof. Serves him right. I think I'll sing with the children. They'll be fun and happy. Painful way to die. Serves him right. Uh, Sachi's been wandering the halls. These empty halls. She kills anyone who enters. People who've heard rumors. They're just curious. She and I are both so desperately thirsty. There's nothing we can do about it. After this, the rain becomes too jumbled to read. God. So Sachiko's been. Killing children and sending their souls to her mother? So she won't get lonely? Yep. I guess eventually, she drove her mad. Seems like deep down, even her mom wants her to stop. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we should do next. But if we're going to get through to Sachiko, it looks like the school principal is the key. If I recall... The principal's office is in the other building. Oh boy. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this here. We went a little bit over the time today, but blame the cutscenes. One way or the other, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to push that like button. It's so far you can't see it anymore. Looks like we're really starting to get to the core of things now. If you really like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to do horror stuff as frequently as possible. I'm trying to keep it up to date at least at the same time. 
want to check out any other horror games done on here, click the link in the bottom right corner, try and take me to that destination. Or if you miss any of the stops on this ride, click the link across right here, and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!